Hi everyone, this is Mr. Cohen from Great Valley High School and I am uh, here today to show you how to put together a homemade bell cover for your instrument. And I know that right now, during these uncertain times with COVID-19, uh, things change day to day and I, I did want to state right out of the gate that I am by no means a medical professional, I am simply just trying to put together a resource that may be helpful to my students and others who are looking to get back to rehearsal. Um, in, in some form or, or another uh, this fall. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, pantyhose and I'm currently using Hanes regular top jet black and uh, something important to note here is I'm using the Q size which is going to be the largest and it's going to give you the most material to work with. You'll need scissors, you'll need uh, rubber bands, and obviously your instrument. First thing you're going to do is take the pantyhose out of the box, which I've already done, and take your scissors to cut off the, the long legs. And I've already done that here, but you can see that there's a ton of extra material that you won't really need. You can actually put that to the side. These are the legs I had already cut off with the scissors. And from here, you'll take the two areas that you cut and create a small knot and then double knot it to secure it just a little bit more. You'll be left with the waist here and then our double knot at the bottom. From here you're going to take your instrument and put the double knot into the bell and then using the waist here at the top, wrap that around the edge of the bell, and it should look something like this. So right now we have the bell covered, but it's a little loose, so that's where the rubber band comes into play. From here, you'll wrap the rubber band around, and depending on the strength and tightness of the rubber band, you may notice that you should probably uh, double tie it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then that will secure it a little bit better than before. So now that we have our bell cover made, one thing to think about is the effectiveness of the bell cover. And if you are stretching the material to a point that you can see through it, and you may be able to actually see that demonstrated here, You'll, you'll definitely know that the bell cover is, is degrading in its ability to stop aerosol spread. This is particularly important to remember in instruments like baritone or trombone where the bell is particularly uh, large. So what does that mean? Well, you may need to repeat this entire process uh, a few times to create multiple layers. I would say more is always going to be better. More than anything, I'm just trying to show you how you can quickly put together a bell cover uh, using something that you can get uh, at a general store for, for less than $10. And thanks for watching and I hope that you uh, find this process pretty easy and uh, stay safe.